Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. If you're new here, thank you for joining us as always. Um, if you would, please consider subscribing to this channel. When you do, hit that notification bell. What that does is that it helps you to be notified when I come out with new videos. With that being said, let's get into today's video, shall we? So we're talking about the walking wounded on the offensive line. It just, it's starting to pile up, folks. Um, as we all know, uh, Chase Roulier is going to be out for the rest of the year um, with an, yet another injury. This is probably going to spell the end to Chase Roulier in Washington. To be honest with you, he's been injured more than he's been in there for the last year or so. And I think it's probably about time to move on from Roulet, unfortunately. Uh, but <clears throat> he's going to be out. Now we have uh, Sam Cosme, uh, who's going to be out for probably some time. Possibly. Possibly. Um, uh, my, my good friends here at uh, SB Nation Hogs Heaven, Haven, <laughs> uh, has a story here about Sam Cosme having to have thumb surgery. Um, ben Stein, Stein, did, Steindig? I cannot pronounce people's names. I can't even talk today. Uh, you know, saying insight and analysis on the newsy day of the commanders. Running back uh, usage breakdown with optimism. Of course, I said this in my last video. Brian Robinson returning this week. John Dodson out for one to two weeks. Um, sources... Right tackle, Sam Cosme injures hand. Of course, he's going to have to have thumb surgery. Uh, Chase Young continues to rehab. And, of course, Ron Rivera talks about patience, <laughs> which we can tell that Ron Rivera's patience and anxiety was patience is starting to get limited. His anxiety is starting to elevate. Uh, th throwing in a few choice words there um, during his conference. Um but another week, another injury to the Washington offensive line. Um, they're reporting that Sam Cosme suffered a hand injury to a loss against the Cowboys. And, of course, he's going to have to have thumb surgery. Uh, says if Cosme does miss some time, um, Washington will be missing three of its week one offensive line starters. Um, you know, Chase Roulet, uh, as we heard, is probably going to end his season with another knee injury. Um, so he would be replaced by um, Wes Schweitzer. Oh, he was replaced by Wes Schweitzer, who was replaced on IR two days ago after suffering a concussion. Um, Trey Turner was pulled because of ineffectivity. Uh, Shadik Charles uh, was in place with Turner. Um, and it just lists that goes on and on. Uh, they do say if, if Cosme does uh, miss some time, uh, your starting lineup for the offensive line is going to be Charles Leno, Andrew Norwell, uh, Nick Martin, Shadik Charles, and Cornelius Lucas. Um, backup center Tyler Larson will be activated from the physically unable to preserve, uh, perform list um, on Wednesday. To, so today, making of this video, after tearing his Achilles last season, uh, he could overtake Martin for the starting center job. I think that probably will happen. Uh, but he says likely won't happen in his first week back at practice, which is true. You're not going to throw uh, Larson back in there uh, right after being activated. So, and that's why I said before with Robinson, I don't see him playing this Sunday. So, you know, there's a lot of injuries going on with this team, unfortunately, right now. And right where they have already had some issues, the offensive line. Now, you know, the optimist in me says, who knows, maybe this shakeup of, of the offensive line may spark... Uh, some sort of thing in them that makes them perform better. Maybe we just did not have the right um, group in there to begin with. Who knows? Um, I think Charles Leno has probably been the only one who's been uh, fairly solid. Um, 
everybody else has struggled, even Orwell has, has been pushed around. And he was supposed to be kind of the uh, replacement of, um, you know, Brandon Sheriff, who actually Norwell, I think, has been playing on the left side, not the right side. But, um, you know, just uh, he was supposed to be the, you know, swap Pro Bowl players for Pro Bowl players. And, you know, he's, he's kind of been pushed around a little bit. So who knows? Maybe this will be the key for the Washington Commanders uh, to get a better grip on the offensive line uh, to get some better pass protection. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think about all these injuries. Seems like it happens year after year. doesn't matter how much that the commanders, you know, Washington in general, tries to you know, improve their medical um, uh, situation. Seems like we always wind up having some injuries in some key positions. And, well, that's just football for you. All right, support this channel if you can. Like this video, share this video, comment. Give, give me your comments. Let me know. Let's talk about this. Um, you can also support this channel with uh, Patreon. Um, I'll show you that graphic there. Uh, Patreon has been revamped on my end. Um, I'm not having all these different tiers. Just one tier, $3 a month, and I plan to actually be a little more active on Patreon than when I have been, so um, be looking for that, and yeah, so until then, take care.